G'day guys. Since it's pretty hard getting internet access on your R36S clone running ArcOS, you're most likely going to have to manually install ports since you won't be able to use Portmaster on the handheld itself without internet access. By default, the latest and last version of ArcOS for clones does already come with Portmaster pre-installed. But it is a fairly old version from back in March of 2025. If you find more recent ports don't actually run, then you'll most likely have to manually update Portmaster. If we go into options, go down to tools and run Portmaster, you can see it does load. And at the very bottom in very small writing, it says Portmaster version 2025 0303-0141. It's worth mentioning that updating Portmaster can fix or break certain ports controls. For example, if we go into ports, I have manually installed Vanilla RA, which is Red Alert. If we open it up, again, this is using the stock Portmaster install that's included with the latest version of ArcOS for clones. So you'll see moving the left joystick left and right moves the mouse cursor left and right, but moving it up and down doesn't. Instead, the right joystick controls the up and down motion and it is inverted. I've noticed when updating Portmaster, it does actually fix this. So we'll revisit this after updating. We're over on our Windows 11 PC now, and I've just gone to the Portmaster website, which I will link down in the description below. On the homepage, in bold, it says download and install. We want to click on that. At the very top, it says download the latest version of Portmaster. We want to click on that. It should take us to the GitHub releases page. And at the time of filming, the latest version is 2025-07-14-15-10, which is a fair bit newer than the one that's included in ArcOS. A little bit below under assets, we want to download install full portmaster.sh. It is almost 500 meg. To download it, just left click on it. Once it's finished downloading, we can close off Chrome and open up our downloads folder. Inside, we should find our Portmaster install script. Next, we just want to insert the SD card from our R36S clone. I'm using the built-in SD card reader on this laptop, but you can obviously use a cheap USB SD card adapter. With the SD card inserted, we just want to make sure EasyROMs has appeared, and it has on the very left. You can see EasyROMs E drive. If it hasn't, you may manually need to assign a drive letter. I have made a very short video on how to do that in the past, so I will link that down in the description below as well. We want to copy our single Portmaster install script from our downloads folder. It's Control C, go into our EasyROMs folder. We want to open up tools and we want to paste it in here. Once it's finished copying, that's pretty much it. As mentioned, updating Portmaster can either break or fix certain ports controls. On the off chance it does break ports you already have installed, it's worth backing up a few files. Open up the Portmaster folder inside the tools folder and we just want to copy and back up three files. We want control, we want device info, and we want game controller DB. You can hold control while left clicking on each one to manually select them. With all three highlighted, we just want to press control C to copy it. And I'll go back to our downloads folder. I'll make a new folder in here. Just right click, go down to new and go folder. I'll call it port master controls backup. We want to paste all three of those files in here. They are very small. With that done, we can safely eject our SD card and put it back into our R36S clone. We're back on our R36S clone now, and I've just put the SD card back in, obviously, and powder back up. To update Portmaster, we just want to go down to Options, go to Tools, go down to Install Full Portmaster, and just press A. It starts off by verifying file integrity, just to make sure the script was downloaded and copied correctly. It should then start to decompress it, and it should then start the update. Once it's finished installing, it should automatically restart Emulation Station, and take you back to the main menu. We can verify it's been updated by going back into Options, tools, and this time opening up Portmaster. You'll need to read and accept the disclaimer once more. Interestingly, it does still say it's using an older version of Portmaster, but it is different from the stock one. I'm not too sure why that is. We'll quit out of this and test our controls in Red Alert. Go into ports, go back down to vanilla RA. Now, if we move the left joystick, it does thankfully move the mouse cursor correctly. It's no longer split between the two joysticks. The right one still acts as up and down, and it is still inverted. If you've noticed the controls no longer work in ports that used to work before updating, simply copy the three files that we backed up back into your Portmaster folder, overriding the originals. If all of the ports that you want to play are working fine, I wouldn't recommend updating just in case something does break. But if instead you can't get newly released ports working, like Morrowind, then this might be the fix for you. It also might be worthwhile backing up the entire stock Portmaster folder, just in case everything breaks, you can simply paste the old one back in to go back to the original version. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.